Okay, let's take a look at a problem from worksheet number three. This is problem number two on worksheet three. So we have to solve for the bearing on this unlabeled line. So solve for the missing bearing. Um, we don't have a whole lot to go off of here, except uh, this line, we have a bearing and we have the angle between those two lines. Uh, and that's, that's enough to to start so the first thing I like to do of course is draw a picture and I want to imagine that I'm standing at this point where the two lines intersect and if I'm standing in that point uh, it's helpful if I it's helpful to me I'll do this in a different color helpful to me if I draw in a north arrow so here's my north arrow and I'll put the compass rows in here. So again, I want to be standing at this point where the two lines intersect. And if I'm looking from this point, if I'm looking down this line or up this line, um, the first thing I ask is this bearing, does that make sense to me? If my north arrow is, is here, uh, does a southwest bearing make sense? And the answer is no. This is the northeast quadrant. So the first thing I want to do, or the second thing I want to do, is I'm going to reverse directions. So I'm not going to change the angle of the line. Uh, I'm just going to change the direction I'm facing on the line. So southwest would work if I was standing here, looking southwesterly along that line. But I'm standing here, looking northeasterly along that line. So I'm just going to replace southwest with northeast. Um, remember that uh, those opposite bearings are interchangeable. So southwest can become northeast and northwest can become southeast uh, depending on what direction you're facing. So anyways we are northeast in the northeast quadrant there and a bearing, remember, uh, is measured from north towards the east. So this 71 degrees, 47 minutes, 19 seconds, that is measuring from north towards the east. And I'm just going to color in this piece of the pie. So we can keep it all nice and tidy. So we now have this piece of the pie, 71 degrees, 47 minutes, 19 seconds. That's this portion and we know the angle between the two lines is 130 degrees and some change so I'm just going to start uh, figuring out what pieces of the pie do I know and what pieces do I need to solve for um, so I know that there are 90 degrees between north and east I have 71 degrees 47 minutes 19 seconds of that is accounted for in this green angle. Remember the bearing from north to uh, towards the east. So that means there's a little piece of the pie still in that northeast quadrant. So this little, I'll color it in black there. So what is that slice of the pie? Well that's 90 degrees minus uh, that 71 degree bearing angle. So 90 degrees, zero minutes, zero seconds minus that 71 degrees 47 minutes 19 seconds and if I do that subtraction I should get 18 minutes I'm sorry 18 degrees 12 minutes 41 seconds so that is this angle here and I can take that off of this 130 degrees now uh, so I'm just going to start working my way towards that line uh, and and we've accounted for this little sliver of the pie so I can subtract that from this whole angle uh, if I take that 18 minutes away or 18 degrees 12 minutes 41 seconds if I do that subtraction I'm left with 111 degrees 57 minutes 55 seconds. So that is from east to the line. And I know there's 90 degrees 
in that southeast quadrant. So I could take 90 degrees off of this remaining angle. And what am I left with? I'm left with 21 degrees, 57 minutes, 55 seconds. And what is that? That is this last sliver of the pie. So we'll do it in purple here. And that's the part I really needed. This angle is going to give me the bearing of this line. So remember, a bearing has to be from the south to the west some degree. And that is this angle right here. So I can write my missing bearing as uh, south, starting from the south, 21 degrees, 57 minutes, 55 seconds, towards the west. So, again, the key to me is uh, draw yourself a little picture and start solving for the slices of the pie. Put your compass rows at the intersection of uh, the two lines you need to solve and then ask yourself, does the bearing make sense with the compass rows at that point? In this case, the bearing did not make sense, so I had to reverse the direction, uh, and then I could start solving for uh, these pieces of the pie. So I'll do another problem in a different video. Uh, hopefully this was helpful.